Hello and welcome to Mini. You're about to embark on a road trip, well, at least the condensed version, of how an automotive startup quickly became an upstart. How a car that was essentially quite small came to have an impact of huge proportions on culture, motoring and life itself. It's 1956, the year Elvis Presley releases his first album. Over in England, fuel rationing, which was caused by the Suez Canal crisis and ironically a reaction to the newly launched, very economic BMW Isetta, leads automotive designer Sir Alec Izigonis to begin work on a small economical car for the British Motor Corporation. Mini is born. 1959, with a transverse engine and front wheel drive, Mini makes its official debut as the Austin 7 and Morris Mini Minor. That same year, a different kind of chariot helps the film Ben-Hur take home 11 Academy Awards. 1960, the classic Mini launches in the American market as gasoline hits a huge 31 cents a gallon. But Mini owners take the news in stride. 1962, the Austin 7 becomes known as the Austin Mini and wins its first international rally. Mini isn't the only one to reach for the skies as Britain and France agree to build the Concorde. 1964, Mini races to its first Monte Carlo rally win, becoming a giant killer in the process. America is gripped by Beatle mania, and the Beatles are gripped by Mini mania. 1968, due to new emissions and safety standards, Minis are no longer sold in the United States. Making its own departure, Apollo 8 leaves Earth and becomes the first manned mission to orbit the moon. 1969, a comic heist film called The Italian Job stars Minis pushed to their limits in exciting stunt driving. It's a big success for Minnie and another star of the film as well, Michael Caine. 1971, the year Alec Isigonis retires. Also retired and ironically at the height of its productivity is the Mini Cooper with 318,000 sales worldwide. 1974, with costs rising everywhere due largely to inflation, the price of a Mini rises to a whopping $1,606. A new TV show launched that same year also gets more expensive. 1977. While the science fiction saga Star Wars opens in theaters, the force is definitely with the likable inspiring Mini as its sales continue to soar and vehicle production reaches the 4 million mark. By 1978, adventurous women are buying 50% of all Minis. No official word on who's buying the other 50%. 1982, Prince Charles presents Princess Diana with a convertible Mini on her 21st birthday. Not to be outdone, she gives birth and presents him with Prince William. 1985. The modern curious Mini Ritz gives a new look to London style, causing a stir in fashion circles. Almost as much as Madonna's cone-shaped bra. 1989. The Berlin Wall falls and the unconventional Mini continues to knock down cultural barriers of its own. Now turning 30, Mini marks the occasion with the introduction of the Mini 30 Limited Edition. 1990. It's 1990. In a nod to the famous film featuring Minis, the first annual run of the Italian job takes place. The event has Mini owners motoring 2,000 miles from England to Italy and back to raise money for children's charities. 1994, BMW acquires the Rover Group, adding Mini to the BMW Group portfolio. Though millions of Minis have been sold by this year, that number pales in comparison to McDonald's selling its 99 billionth hamburger. 1995, Autocar Magazine votes the classic Mini 
car of the century and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame opens in Cleveland, Ohio. 1997. The new Mini is briefly shown to the world's automotive media at the Frankfurt Auto Show and becomes an immediate hit. Meanwhile, The Simpsons surpasses The Flintstones as the biggest running primetime animated series. Nineteen ninety-eight, and the Mini is listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as the most successful British car in history. While Seinfeld, one of the most successful sitcoms in history, airs its final episode. Nineteen ninety-nine, the last classic Mini, five million three hundred eighty-seven thousand eight hundred sixty-two, rolls off the line in Longbridge, UK. And Tiger Woods wins his fourth golf tour in a row. It's now the year 2000, and the all-new Mini premieres at the Paris Auto Show. And the Y2K bug did not end the world. 2002, Mini relaunches in the United States with its new tagline: "Let's motor." To celebrate, an enthusiastic group in New York City breaks the Mini Cram world record by packing 21 people into a Mini. 2003, California goes Hollywood, electing actor Arnold Schwarzenegger as its governor, and Mini is named Car of the Year at the 2003 Detroit International Auto Show. This marks the first time the award is given to a European car. 2004, NASA sends two rovers, Opportunity and Spirit, to explore the Martian surface. Back on Earth, Mini Convertible enters the product lineup, and the idea of open motoring is introduced to the world. 2005, Mini USA sells its 100,000th car since its launch in 2002. And talk about deliveries. Adriana Iliescu, at the age of 66, becomes the oldest woman in the world to give birth. 2006, over 3,000 Mini owners in the US participate in the Mini Takes the States cross-country road trip. And there's just no stopping the winner of this year's Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest, who downs 53 and 3 quarters hot dogs in 12 minutes. 2007, an Elton John turns 60 years old, his hairpiece turns 20, and Mini launches the next generation, evolutionary on the outside, revolutionary on the inside, R56 model. 2008, and the new Mini Clubman successfully launches, delivering versatile functionality and great fuel economy. It comes just in time as the price of oil and gas starts to skyrocket. Well, if the past is any indication, Mini will continue to head in the direction of less is more. Transporting like-minded individuals not only to different states, but states of mind. It will continue to be an original, a trendsetter, a head-turner, an extension of personality, a part of pop culture, and an icon. Wherever it travels, enthusiasts and fans will follow, knowing that the gas tank isn't half empty, but half full. And who knows, the way this minute but mighty motoring brand is gobbling up the pavement, another Car of the Century award could be just around the bend. Let's motor.